a historic day in Washington. He was personally and substantially involved in all of it. The January 6th committee urging the Department of Justice to pursue criminal charges against former President Donald Trump, saying he was involved in the violent Capitol insurrection. Vermont's Democratic Congressman Peter Welch, getting ready to take over Senator Patrick Leahy's seat next month, says the evidence was overwhelmingly against the former president. Our principle of our democracy that applies to every one of us, including the president of the United States is no one is above the rule of law. Congressman Welch was at the Capitol under lockdown during the insurrection. He says the issue of the riot at the Capitol and election fraud was a common concern shared by voters this past election cycle. Vermonters get it. I mean, from town meeting to our votes for legislature and the governor, uh, people understand that it's majority rule and people understand that it's our obligation uh, to accept the outcome of the election. Republican Congresswoman Elise Stefanik, representing Northern New York's 21st Congressional District, a vocal supporter of former President Donald Trump. NBC5 reached out to the Congresswoman for an interview, but she declined and provided a statement calling the decision a desperate and unconstitutional target on the former president, continuing on to say that the American people see through this partisan charade, which is why they fired Nancy Pelosi once and for all. The Republican majority will hold House Democrats accountable for their illegitimate abuse of power. Middlebury College political analyst Matt Dickinson. It's purely advisory, so it doesn't carry any legal ramifications. Curious to see the impact of this referral, charges filed or not, heading into the 2024 presidential election. If there's a criminal referral and criminal charges subsequently based on that referral, that may impact his support heading into the presidential campaign.